Today I want to talk about significant figures or significant digits. Think about your dad. He tells you to go cut a two-foot section of a two-by-four stick of wood. You may think of this as one significant figure or one significant digit. If you do, then the length you end up with could be anywhere in the range of one and a half feet to two and a half feet. Why is this? Well, the two, the two is in the ones place and one is the least significant figure. So half of the least significant figure is 0.5. So this establishes the range to plus or minus a half a foot. Do you think your dad would be happy if you gave him a one and a half foot stick? Okay, well what if we interpreted him to set to mean 2.0 foot? Well, here we've got the 2.0, we've got the O in the one tenth place. So one-tenth is the least significant figure. So half of this, half of the least significant figure is 0.05. So this establishes the range 2.0 plus or minus 0.05 foot. With that variation, you could end up with the length that falls in the range 1.95 foot to 2.05 foot. He's starting to get happier. Then he makes a comment about you wanting to be an engineer, even though you don't have any common sense. The 0.05 foot variation is about 5 eighths of an inch. That's a lot. Suppose he tells you to cut a 24 inch stick. Okay, you're starting to feel better. You see, okay, I've got two significant figures. You're, and you're going to be using a measuring tape in inches anyway. Well, let's put the 24 in and see what we have. The 4 is in the 1's place. So, 1 is the least significant figure. Again, half of this is a half. So, this establishes the range 24 plus or minus a half an inch. Now, a half an inch potential error. Well, our length could be anywhere from 23 and a half inches to 24 and a half inches. He's still not impressed with your carpentry skills or your engineering knowledge. You've wasted a lot of wood too. Changing units really doesn't matter. Two significant figures using either unit of measure yields about the same un undesirable results. Suggestion. For dad's intent, let's try three significant figures. It doesn't matter which units we use. Uh, let's use inches. So let's say the L equals 24.0 inches. Now the O is in the one-tenth place again. Since the trailing O is in the one-tenth place, one-tenth is the least significant figure. Again, half of that, of the least significant figure here is 0.05. So this establishes the variation 24 plus or minus 0.05 inches. So you bring your dad a stick with the length somewhere between 23.95 inches and 24.05 inches. You're thinking this is three significant figures. Your dad is somewhat satisfied since now you've brought him something useful that's accurate to within plus or minus 0.05 inches, which is about a sixteenth of an inch. When I think of three significant figures, I think of an accuracy of one part in 1,000. If it's two significant figures, I think of one part in a hundred. If it's four significant figures, I think of one part in ten thousand, and so on. In practice, three significant figures has pretty decent resolution. Let's talk about absolute error. Absolute error is the difference between some measured value and some true value. Let's, as an example, take what is our worst case actual stick length of 24.05 inches. Let's say that the true value is the desired stick length. The absolute value is then 0.05 inches. This is not a great measure of error because it has units and it also relies on the decimal point location of the true value. 
On the other hand, let's talk about relative error. Relative error can be written as the absolute error divided by the true value. So we have the 0.05 divided by 24.0. So this gives us a row, an a relative error of 0 0.00208 approximately. This is nearly the one part in 1000 that we were looking for for three significant figures. For three significant figures, a targeted relative error would be a rho star of 0 0.001. Notice I have the subscript of three on the rho star since uh, we're, talk we're thinking about one part in a thousand, which is representative of three significant figures. Let's look at some interesting properties for relative error. First of all, it's dimensionless. Secondly, you can get a number that's representative of the number of significant figures from the relative error. If I have a relative error row and I take the base, base 10 log of it and negate that, I get a, a value in which is represents a number of significant uh, figures. This is a continuous measure. For example, the point 00208, when I take the log 10 of that and negate it, I get about 2.68. So that's showing me I'm near three significant figures. And if I take the uh, base 10 log of row 3 star, the point 001, and negate that, I get the three that I desire. Relative error does not rely on the location of the decimal point of the true and measured values. For example, if I take the 24 and the 24.05 values and scale them both by 10, I get 240 and 240.5. The relative error in the B case is actually equal to the relative error of the original A case, the point 00208. The relative error also does not rely on the number of leading zeros. For example, I could have taken the 24.0 and the 24.05 and divided each of those by 100, and I would have the same 0.00208 that I had before. Or I could have taken the 24.0 and the 24.05 and divided by 10,000, basically moving the decimal place an additional two points to the left. Still, I end up with the 0 0.00208 for relative error. But relative error can rely on the number of trailing zeros, if any. Why? Because remember, the last digit sets the, le the least significant figure. For example, remember, when I have the 24.0 and the three significant figures, then my least significant figure is, is the one-tenth place, and that means my max uh, largest value could be 24.05, giving me the 0 0.0208 that we've dealt with. However, if I disregard that last zero and go back to the two significant figures, then the largest value I could get would 24.5. In that case, my relative error is 0 .02, uh, 0.0208, which is 10 times different. So in this way, disregarding the trailing zero can mess you up. Let's look at another example where we have some trailing zeros to the left of the decimal point. Let's take as two examples 2400 with three significant digits. That means that we have 2400 plus or minus 5. And let's look at that versus 2400 plus or minus 50, which would be two significant digits. In the first case, we have a relative error of 0 0.00208, as we have said. And in the second case, where we have the maximum value of 2450, we end up with a relative error of 0 0.0208, which is 10 times different, signifying the two significant digits. Let's look at some other examples of some other number combinations. Let's let this column be the true value, and let's let this column represent maximum 
actual values that are still consistent with three significant figures. This column would represent the relative error of these two values. And we have the 24 uh, true value and the 24.05 measured value. We have our familiar relative error of 0 0.00208, which gave us the 2.68 uh, significant figures. The true value of 50 with the actual measure value of 50.05 gives us the relative error of 0 0.001, which is the targeted relative error for one part in 1000. This gave us the uh, number of significant figures of 3. Notice the first example had a leading digit of 2, and the second example had a leading digit of 5. And we had an improvement in relative error and improvement in accuracy. Now take the leading figure as high as you can go, 99.9, uh, .9, the leading figure, leading digit is 9 here. Let's look at the worst case uh, actual measured value, which is consistent with three significant digits. So that would be 99.95. The relative error now is 0 0.0005, is actually half of the uh, one part in 1,000, and now is almost, or moving towards the one part in 10,000. So the relative accuracy is actually getting better based on the, the leading significant digit going up. Let's look what happens when we go down with the leading significant digit. Let's look at a, a 10.1 as a true value. So the worst case measured value would, for three significant digits would be 10.15. This would give a relative error of 0 0.00495. So this is actually going the wrong way, and the relative error here is actually approaching the one part in 100. And you see that the, the number of significant digits is actually going towards 2. So the leading digit plays a role in what the real uh, accuracy or number of significant, significant figures would be. Notice in each of these examples, when the leading figure is greater than 1, then the n function rounds back to 3, the integer 3. However, when the leading figure is a 1, the n value actually rounds down to the to 2 in this case. We have, so we have to watch our leading ones. Sometimes the leading one is not counted as a significant figure, so let's take a look at that. Here's the example we did on the last slide. A 10.1 plus or minus 0 0.05, which is the same as a 1,010 plus or minus 5, you get a relative uh, uh, max, a max relative error of 0.00495, which gives us an n value of 2.31. This rounds down to 2. Similarly, a 123 plus or minus a half will give us a max relative error of 0.00407 and an n value of 2.39, which also rounds down to 2. As we increase, we go to 1.50 plus or minus 0 0.005. That gives us a max relative error of 0 0.003 and change. And our end value is 2.48. Here we're kind of getting to the threshold. This rounds down to 2 as well. When we get above the threshold, we get to 1.60 plus or minus 0 0.005. The relative error is going down to 0 0.00312, and the n function is actually going up to, to above 2.5, so that now we're rounding to 3, the n function, getting back to the three reported uh, digits that we started with. And similarly, as we go up, the 1.70 plus or minus 0 0.005 gets a max relative error less than 0 0.003 and the n function is uh, increasing and we are solidly going towards an n rounded to 3. So when the max relative error is less than or equal to 0 0.003 approximately 
Uh, this yields an, an n value that rounds back to 3. So in this class, how close is close? Often I expect uh, three significant figures in your calculations. Say my calculation is the true value. Call it x sub true, where it's non-zero. Say your calculation is the measured value. Call it x -mej. I claim your answer is accurate if x -mej minus x true divided by x true, the absolute value of that, is less than or equal to 0 .003. In summary, take care to know the location of the least significant figure. This is the tens place of the lowest reported digit. The true value plus or minus the least significant figure divided by 2 sets the acceptable range for where x measured could lie. Remember we had the example 24.0 plus or minus 0.05 inches. Relative error is the absolute value of the difference between x measured and x true divided by x true. Remember we had the, the example rho equals 0 0.00208 many times. Relative error rho is related to the number of actual significant figures. This is a continuous function. Uh, n is equal to minus the log 10 of the relative error. Remember that we had n equals 2.68 for the example. Usually the number of reported digits, what we commonly refer to as a number of significant figures, is the same as the value n rounded to its nearest integer. Remember the example problem where we had n equals 2.68. Well that rounds to 3 and that was the number of reported digits in 24.0. This rounding is not always true, remember, when the uh, leading digit is a 1. And that concludes our discussion for the day.